friends, I am Neharika. You know, last weekend was so exciting. I met a very old friend of mine. We went to school together and we met after 10 years. Wow, that's really long. But we had a great time. Now, of course, without friends, no life. Life can't be interesting or emotional or exciting if you don't have good friends. And especially when you reconnect with your old friends, the experience is so exciting or so heartwarming or even nostalgic. So at times you just fall short of words. So what phrases would you use or what would you say when you meet a very old friend of yours? Probably you just bump into her or you plan to meet up. So here I have some phrases for you that you can use the next time you are going to reunite with someone from the past. So the first thing that you do is you greet them, right? So we have greetings. And what's the exact phrase that you would use? Well, oh my gosh, look who it is. Now, people often act real surprised when they meet a friend, not just when they bump into them, even if the meeting is planned, they act surprised. So, the way you would greet a very old friend of yours would be, oh my gosh, look who it is. So here you're showing the happiness, the excitement when you meet your old friend. So this is one of the phrases that you can use. Or the other one is, I can't believe it's been 10 years. So you're meeting someone after a very long time, probably 10 years, probably 15 years. When you greet them, you can say, I can't believe it's been 10 years. So this is the way you would greet them. Then what do you do next? Well, the next thing is you compliment. We all love to be complimented. So it would be really nice if you compliment your friend. And how would you do that? Let's have a look. It's so nice to see you. So here again, you're showing your happiness. Just because you're meeting after a real long time, you're so happy, you're so thrilled. So you're gonna say, it's so nice to see you. Or the other one that I have for you is, Look at you, you look great. So it's the way to compliment the person that you're just meeting. Now, probably the person you're meeting is, has lost a lot of weight. So you can always add, look at you, you look great. You have lost so much of weight. So this is the way to compliment. Okay, now, What's the other thing that you would do the moment you meet your friend or you reconnect with a real old friend? You would ask, how has she been or how has he been? So you would not start saying, so how are you? <laughs> Pretty common. Let's just avoid that. Rather, you can use, how have you been? Now you haven't met her or him for a long time. So the appropriate question to be asked is, so how have you been? Or what are you doing these days? So you have no idea whether she's working or whether she has quit the job that she used to work for the last time y'all spoke, or probably she's married, so here, Basically, you are asking that how she's been or how he's been and what are they up to these days? So what are they doing? Okay, so the right question would be, what are you doing these days? So here you will get to know that what are they doing currently? Okay, so this is to know how they're doing. I would just write, how are you? But that's not the right question you would ask because you're meeting them after a long time. So the right question would be, how have you been? Okay, now let's have a look at some more phrases. So here are some more phrases for you. We see here, 
how are you folks so here when you ask how are your folks uh, which actually means that how are your parents folks is a slang word for parents so basically you're asking about the friends family so you're being nice you're being courteous so you you can always ask how are your folks doing or how old is your son or probably daughter so probably your friend is married now and the last that you had spoken um, maybe her son was just a year old so you can ask so how old is your son now or how old is your daughter now okay so this is the way you can inquire and be courteous by asking about the friend's family, okay? Then we have, have you kept in touch with John? Now, who's John? So here, you are talking about the people that you know in common. So probably, John would be one of your school friends. So if you are meeting your school friend, probably you all went to the school together. So John is one of your school friend. So here you can start talking about, of course, to get the conversation going, you can ask about the people that you knew in, or you know in common. So have you kept in touch with John? And then of course you will start talking about John. Another one is, did you hear about Sarah's surgery? Now who's Sarah? Now again, Sarah is someone that you both know of okay so you can always talk about a third person that you all know about in common So talking about people in common which means you know them in common okay then I have, of course, after the whole conversation, after you meeting, you're being so happy, you chat, and then now it's time to go. So how would you end your conversation? Well, to end your conversation, you would, of course, again, show the happiness and the excitement that you're so thrilled that we caught up. So you can say that I'm so happy we reconnected. So probably y'all met on Facebook, y'all reconnected, and now y'all met after a real long time. So now it's time to end your conversation, to end your meeting, and you are saying, I am so happy we reconnected. So you're showing your happiness. Another one is, let's catch up again. Now let's catch up again. Catch up is a slang word, uh, which means let's meet up again. Okay, let's meet again. So catch up is a slang word for to meet, okay? So you can say let's catch up again. So these are some phrases that you can use when you meet someone from the past. And hope this lesson is helpful to you. So the next time you meet someone, you are all confident and you're extremely happy to see them. I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care and have a great day. Bye.